Well, whew, awesome. Hello, soon to be Feather Factory. I believe we will save that for another chapter though. Unless you guys uh, don't mind, I could do it off screen. I'll let you guys let me know what you feel, how you feel about that in the comments section, right down there below. If you want to see me build this factory, then go ahead and say that. Or if you don't mind, then I will go ahead and just do it off screen and show you the end result. All right, now this, as I said, I would get back to it later. This red torch right here. Every time I came past here, if you'll recall when I came past the first time, we heard spiders, and I made a comment about, remember the last time we met a spider in this cave? It was not fun. And then I plopped a torch. Well, yes. Heard a spider. When I came back through here again, after I found what I thought was going to be a zombie dungeon, and um, I was right, <laughs> I heard spiders again. So I decided to leave this here to remind me to come back and take a quick listen. To see if maybe we found another string factory. I mean, spider dungeon. Seems we did not. But I will leave this here just in case. Maybe they're not active at the moment. Who knows? I don't believe there was anything else up here that we needed to come back for. That was the big one, the, the potential dungeon that turned out to be. So I believe I'm going to... Well, no, no, not there. I am going to meet you guys right back here. I'm going to run back up and drop off our goodies again, as we have a full inventory. So... I will take care of that and meet you guys right back here, because the next thing we need to do is right back that way. Okay, things are dropped off, and the cave is making noises at me. <laughs> things are dropped off, and we are ready to go check out the next little piece I found. You might remember this area. We found the iron and took out a skeleton from right here. I peeked in, saw some water, and was like, wow, it's really dark in here. Well, it turned out to be another little small area, so I came in, lit it up like I said I would, or like I said I was doing. Get that out of the way. There we go. Clean. <laughs> I believe this is where the water was flowing from where the zombies were stuck. So the feathers, I think, were coming down this way, but it has been far too long since they fell, so they have obviously despawned. Anyway, as I was looking through here, I was like, oh, okay, it was just a small area. Kind of boring. And then, redstone torch. Hello. Doesn't this look interesting? Yes. Turns out, this is that straight drop from up we saw up above, where those skeletons were trying to jump us a lot. So, we now have this to explore. Yes. And now I believe that we are prepared. I'm going to actually go ahead and make a quick little staircase down. Lighting things up as we go, of course. You'll also notice I turned better light back on, as I said I would. It was just kind of getting on my nerves, making areas darker than they should have been. Ugh, stupid gravel. Making me think you're diamond. Yeah, I saw you. Sneaky. Not that sneaky. Ooh, in the water. Where is he? Mr. Sneaky. Yeah, just walk in a straight line right at me. That Good tactics, skeleton. Good tactics. Wow. Okay, that was pretty good. Nice and sneaky. And number five. Excellent. <sighs> I think I've gotten a little better with this since the last time we were in here. Let's sneak down this way. Now that we've seen some skeletons, this is as good a time as any to bring this... Oh, Whoa. This is as good a time as any to bring this up. Let me fill this in before I jump in it. One of the other things I found was down 
right near, not quite the same place as, but near the, the monster pit. You guys remember that from, I think it was episode 57, 56? But, turns out, remember those skeletons we heard? And I was like, hey, let's go find where those skeletons are coming from. And then I instantly changed my mind. Well, guess what I heard when I was back in that area again? Oh yeah, skeletons. So, it is now entirely possible that we will also have an arrow factory in our future too. We might just have to have one big factory creation chapter or something. But we need to get over there first to find out. Ooh, gold. Nice. Can always use more of that. Also, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, over by the monster pit, I was digging out some coal because I forgot to bring any with me when I first came out. So I knew there was coal over there, so I grabbed that up. Guess what was underneath the coal? Six blocks of gold. Also very nice. Especially now that we've got that speed boost from gold tools. Come here, Ion. Thank you. Ooh. This... Oh, whoa, 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 no. <sighs> I think this part of the cave is extra deadly. It's almost like it's trying to get even with me for complimenting it on not trying to kill me too badly. Um, light, please. Ooh. Oh, 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 it just goes everywhere again. What is with caves and 12 directions anymore, Notch? You are driving me crazy. Oh. Whew. Okay. Speaking of how long it is taking to clear and settle this dungeon down once and for all, someone made a comment that we should go and check out some of the caves that we found when we were creating the tunnel from Resurrection Station to the house. I thought that was a great idea, and if you guys were up for me extending the chapter a little bit, we would do that. However, given how huge this place has turned out to be, I don't know if extending the chapter is going to even be necessary or worth doing, because I believe we're already up to eight or nine episodes, and by the time you guys hear this, it'll probably be ten or twelve. <laughs> So, for those of you who are looking forward to that, I'm sorry, but given I don't want to spend too long on any one thing, because I don't want to start boring you guys, I believe we might have to call things good once we are done with this monstrosity of a cave. Ooh. Now we're finally finding all the gold. I'm wondering where it was hiding. It's like we had found more diamond than we had gold. It was very weird. Also not a complaint, but just an observation. Come here, gold. I know I'm not supposed to dig straight up, but I don't know. All my years of Minecrafting, I seem to have a feel for when it's safe and not. Don't worry, kids. When you get to be my age and have Minecrafted as long as I have, you too will understand. Time for more torches. <laughs> no, not, not that, but you will understand. You will get a feel for the rocks. It'll be a very zen state kind of thing. You will, you will look at a rock and go, there's diamond there. You dig three blocks and there it is. Let's see how my zen state is working. <laughs> Come on, prove me right, game. My zen state is awesome. Okay, fine. I still have to work on that. <laughs> All right. Grab up a bunch more iron. This cave, just wow for resources. I know you guys have been saying you've never found a cave like this, and I'm sorry, because this is so awesome. 
I hope you guys do. I mean, the best way to do it is just get out there. And if you see what looks like is going to be a cave, you know, even just from the surface. Oh, <laughs> hello. Hello again. This game is very good at interrupting my thought process. <laughs> oh, let me clear this out. Ah, oh. hello, we meet again. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, I'm so sorry guys, but this cave, I really hope you guys find one like this for those of you who are telling me you had trouble. And for those of you who were telling me you found collections of diamond of 12 or more, well, just <laughs> to you. We have not found 12 or more in one collection, but we have certainly found at least 12 in this cave. And I'm pretty happy about that. Ah. I love how quickly this stuff just tears through gravel. Uh, please, torch. Thank you. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and make this safe again. I love that sound. It's the sound of safety. Time for the gravel trick. Plop, plop, plop. Any diamond back here? What do we get? Three. It's enough to make another pickaxe already. Oh. I'm so glad I took the time to come back in here and see if there was anything we missed. I actually kind of thought that this was going to connect to where I was hearing the skeletons before, but it, so far it does not seem like it. I mean, we did have those two, but what I heard, I s would swear, was a spawner. We have been here. Did I do that? I forgot. Where is this? <laughs> um. Oh, oh, I know where this is. Okay, yes, I did do that. I took care of this off screen. Um, it was a very little quick run through that I apparently missed cold while running through. It was that quick. What's ironic is what I found over there with that cobblestone one was... was gold. Anyway. Yeah, I went ahead and put that line of dirt there so I could grab up the gold without getting washed away. And yes, yes, once again I will be waving goodbye at the redstone. Okay. That's crazy. If I had, if I had had water on me, I could have come past, known that this was back here all along. That is so funny. <laughs> Where does this go? A little bit of lag. Wow, there's quite a bit in there. Does this wrap around? I believe it does. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Silly gravel. You can't swim. Especially not in lava. Hmm. Okay. Very nice. I might have to come back off screen and clean this area up a little bit. But... I think this looks pretty good. Now, how did we get in here? Alright, the diamond is right here. That beautiful, beautiful blue. I think all that spelunking we did in the last, in the, that I did in the last session has 
Got me very much used to running around caves again. I'm not quite as freaked out, you guys have probably noticed already. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, way over here. Alright, where were some of those other places we missed? <laughs> Just the one. Okay. Fall. All right. Where does this go? Nowhere? Yep. Nowhere. Definitely nowhere. Okay. Hmm. Well, I am certainly burning right through this cave, aren't I? That was kind of actually the idea, because when I realized that there were all these places I had missed, and I still wanted to take care of... Well, hello, darkness. Still wanted to go back and take care of the upper part of the cave. That I didn't want to spend too much more time in this chapter, in case some of you guys were starting to go like, Oh god, more cave? So if any of this seems rushed, that's probably where it's coming from. Oh, this is where we found the straight drop initially. Cool. And there's the other redstone torch. You know, I thought I saw a platform or a landing down there somewhere. Hmm. And we're going to have to make our way back over there because it looks like I left some darkness. Uh, does anyone know where this light is coming from? <laughs> Because I sure as heck do not. Uh, what? Uh, okay. If this, if Minecraft Steve was capable of feeling things, it'd probably be very cold in there right now. Run away! <laughs> uh, which... Where did I come from? I'm usually so good at not getting too lost. <laughs> I think it was over here. Yep. Okay, yeah, it was definitely this way. Okay. Ah, yes, more lava. Or magma. You know, I used to care whether I was using the right term or not. I believe I've since stopped. Technically, this is magma because it's underground, but considering when you put it in a bucket, it's a lava bucket, I'm just going to go with the Minecraft terminology and call everything lava. Unless I change my mind at some other point in the future and call it magma. Okay, sorry about that. Had a phone call. Okay. You know something I just noticed? We have not had music for a good long while. How very weird. Oh good, we're back. And yes, we left a ton of darkness out here. Holy crap. What was I thinking? Mm. Oh, hi zombie. Come take a swim. Come on, come on, this way, this way. <laughs> I'm so mean. Ooh. I was just thinking to myself, I might leave this here. It'd make a great defense. <laughs> yep, great defense, great defense. Please work, please work. Yeah! So I don't get the gunpowder or the feathers. I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest. <laughs> For this undefeatable, this impeccable, this infinite defense. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 